Okay, today we'll talk about uh, different uh, flanges. These are all steel flange. Um, this is uh, a slip-on flange and uh, this is a 2 inch flange, 150 pound. All flanges that we are showing you today uh, for the purpose of, uh, of this video is 150 pound flanges. So 2 inch flange, uh, this is a 2 inch pipe sample and you see the slip-on flange is the easiest one. You just slide it on and then you weld it. This is um, a raised face flange and the raised face flange on the back side of the flange right here you can see that has a lip 116th 116th inch uh, lip this is also a slip on flange but this is a flat face and we're showing you as an example that this does not have a, a raised face this is a flat face flange This is a 2 inch flange, but this is a threaded flange. You can see uh, the, the pipe threads here. Um, if you have a 2 inch pipe and you have a thread on it, then you, you simply you, you thread it in. That's, that's the only difference between a slip-on or, uh, or, or, or a threaded flange. Again, this is also a raised face, so it has a 1 16th lip on the, uh, on the back side. A 150 pound 2 inch threaded flange. Now this is a socket weld flange, 2 inch raised face, 150 pound socket weld flange. Now remember all flanges have um, uh, a label here, that, that uh, a stamping here that shows uh, the size, the pressure rating, the country of origin, the specification, the material. Now the socket weld flange, <coughs> if you can see right here, has, has a little socket. So the pipe goes in here and, and it fits in the socket and then and then then you can weld it and you can see on, on from the back side uh, this is uh, a standard schedule pipe this is a standard bore socket weld flange and, and, and it's, it's very flush from the back side now on the socket weld flange you have to specify the pipe schedule now the pipe schedule this is a two inch nominal pipe um, and um, this is a standard um, um, scheduled pipe and this is a standard schedule socket weld. So the pipe schedule and the and, and the bore of the uh, the socket weld flange has to match, so that there is no um, raised face, or there is no protrusion on on the back side. The difference between um, a socket weld flange that is has a bore of schedule 40, schedule 80, is that this inner bore will change so it matches the bore of the pipe. That's what you're trying to do. So remember, on a socket weld flange, uh, other than specifying if it's 150 pound, 300 pound, you also have to mention if it's uh, for a schedule 40, schedule 80, a schedule 120, schedule 160, what is the schedule of the pipe where you're trying to use this socket weld flange. This is a weld neck flange. This is a very, uh, a very popular flange. A lot of people use it. Um, again, as, as the name says, it has a, a welding neck right here. 150 pound flange, it has four bolts, uh, again raised face, so it has a little uh, lip on, on the back side, this stamping on the side. Um, and the way the, uh, the, the weld neck flange is used is that you take a pipe, again this is a two inch pipe, uh, and you have to have a bevel. This, this does not have a bevel, but if you are installing it, you will have a bevel, and then you just butt it up right there like this and then you make a weld. That's why um, that, that's how it is installed and it's called a, a weld neck. This, this, this is a, a welding neck. On the weld neck also you have to specify the board. Uh, so if you if you uh, specify the schedule uh, whether if it's for schedule 40, schedule 80 uh, and, and, and so on that will determine the, the size uh, of, of, of the board here. Again this is also that once you weld it uh, you don't want your pipe to be thicker than um, uh, than, 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 than the flange and that will not be good for the flow. So once you specify the right uh, schedule of the flange that matches the schedule of the pipe, uh, if you look from the inside, uh, it will be almost uh, 
uh, you you won't be able to see any um, any any edge uh, sticking out. So a well neck flange. Now this is um, a lap joint uh, lap joint flange, um, and, and 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 the difference between a lap joint flange uh, and a slip on flange. You know, I want to show you um, a slip on flange which looks. Uh, looks very similar I mean, from 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 the outside it almost looks like the same but you look on the back side uh, it has a little radius and a little little end right here so some people confuse it that this is a flat face flange it is not and, and if you look at the difference so if you just look at the back side you will see that uh, this is different. This, this has a little radius. And I'll, I'll show you right now why why it has a, a little radius. So left left joint flange. And for example, I have the same flange in in stainless steel. This is a stainless steel three or four flange. So whenever you're using a left joint flange, you use a stub end, and the 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 radius is for the stub end. So you do like this, and that's why. Um, on the lap joint flange, you need to have a stub end um, to grip it. And that is the purpose of uh, a little radius right here. This is a blind flange, and as the name says, uh, there's no bore in it, it's a blind flange. Uh, again, 2 inch, 150 pound blind flange, um, no bore in it. And um, it's, it's, this is a 2 inch one. Again, it's, it's hard to see how the two inch fits on it, but you know the the the, or the outer diameter, of the board circle matches what a uh, two inch flange is. This is another example of a stainless steel flange. Um, we carry both uh, carbon steel, um, stainless steel, nickel alloy uh, flanges. This is a a three or four flange. It's also available in three sixteen. This is A105 uh, forged material, also available in A105 normalized. Uh, you just have to specify what flange you want. Thank you.